Here, the O'Farrell government is facing its first electoral test, a by-election today in the seat of Clarence on the far north coast of New South Wales. The seat was vacated when sitting National MP Steve Cansdell resigned after admitting that he falsified a statutory declaration to avoid a speeding fine. Voters in Clarence are back at the polling booth for the second time in seven months. In March, they elected National Party candidate Steve Canstall with 80% of the two-party preferred vote. But popularity was not enough to save his political skin. In September, he admitted signing a false statutory declaration to avoid a speeding fine. On principle, uh, I believe um, that I really have to resign. Hoping to step into his shoes is the National Party's candidate, Chris Galaptis. Look, we'll take a bit of a hit because generally in by-elections uh, the swing is against the government, so we'll take a bit of a hit. Labor is represented by former newspaper editor Peter Ellum. His party got less than 10% of the vote in some parts of the electorate in March. Historically the Labor vote has been a lot higher than in the past decade or so and uh, I'm hoping to lift the Labor vote. The by-election is also the first test for state opposition leader John Robertson. But we're in it to give people an option to pass judgment on the way Steve Cansdell left, the cost this by-election has been to the taxpayers and really just for people to mark the O'Farrell Stoner government in just seven months. But the coalition leaders have not made the by-election a priority as the result will have no impact on their commanding majority in Parliament. David Spicer, ABC News.